Hey everybody, Michael here, and I wanted to make this video because I did throttle body cleaning, mass airflow cleaning on my Gentoo Prius, and my gas mileage has increased at least 10%. There's a hill that I have to leave, or have to go up to, go up through every day leaving my house, and I get like, you know, I check the computer thing, and it'd be about 15 miles per gallon going up it. After I did this cleaning, it went up to 21. This thing, this is awesome, and it takes, it takes about 30 minutes first time you do it, because you know, you want to be careful and everything. So there's other YouTube videos that I'll link below uh, that'll show you how to do it. For the throttle body cleaning, there's one by a guy with a really strong southern accent, but he's got like the cleanest engine bay ever. So respect to him and you know nothing wrong with southern accent either just you know identify him um and then there's another one with a girl who like has a band and she plays her music over her like video her repair video so that's kind of a cool way to do uh, advertising for your band anyway i'll link those below in the description below but i just wanted to go over uh, an overview you know the more more times you see confirmation the better i feel and uh, offer my two cents that wasn't covered in those videos all right here we go so two things are going to happen. You are going to clean the throttle body on your car, which like when you push the gas pedal down, it opens up to allow air in and stuff like that and mix with the gasoline and go vroom. And same thing with the mass airflow sensor. That's a little thing. It's hidden in here. It's this little something. <laughs> it's like this little orange light bulb. And um, it, you, it, 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 it like measures how much air is flowing and it tells the computer to do some stuff and makes it run as efficiently as possible. Anyway, when it gets all crusted up with garbage over years, uh, it doesn't work as well. And mine is super black and it wants to be, you want it to be bright orange. So here's basically all you do. Just follow those videos, but it's pretty simple. Take a screwdriver, take that out, take that bolt out, unlatch this stuff, boom, boom. It's really super easy. Um, like that, just pop it off like that. Okay, take this off. Boom. Take your air filter out, put it somewhere safe. I mean, and you should be you should be changing this, the uh, engine air filter, because a dealership will charge you like 50 bucks or something crazy for the labor. <laughs> it takes five seconds. Anyway, down here, we kind of tough to see. I can't see it. That little thing right, right, right there. Inside this little orange light bulb, you can't really see it now, but um, you know, if, if yours is driving for a while, it'd be pretty black. And what you do to take that out, you do this. I would take this out first. There's a bolt here. There's another one down there, okay? Just like a little baby screwdriver, there's not much space here. And you have to take this out, okay? This was a lot of trouble for me. I had to really gently but firmly finagle it out. A little wire harness, you push this thing down and gently click, click, click. I don't really want to do it right now, but that was kind of a trouble thing, but I did it. And then this thing, people say, oh, pop it out. But how? Uh, you put a screwdriver, a flathead in between this little space right there, between this top and this bottom, just gently push and this will pop open or this will like pop out. Take the wire harness out. Uh, and then, but do that after you take this out. And then, yeah, you pull this thing out. Once you un unscrew it, put it somewhere very safe. And all you do is just take this can of stuff and spray it all over it. It smells really bad. Don't get it on yourself. But you just spray it all over, all over, all over, all over. Let it dry somewhere with good ventilation and stuff like that. And uh, you'll be good to go. Then pop it back there. Throttle body cleaning is a little bit different. Let's see. I have to take this whole thing off. I don't really want to take this whole thing off. Anyway, for the throttle body cleaning, next step, take this out, put it somewhere safe. Uh, don't, don't, don't mess that up. And then you're going to need to take this hose off, which isn't that bad, actually. Take a screwdriver, screw, screw, unscrew, unscrew, unscrew. And then very, very firmly but gently, you just pull straight back. And this was covered in dust, and it, it was a lot of trouble. This is the, on the second owner of this car. First owner did a great job, but I don't think they cleaned this for a while. Anyway, you take this off, boom. And then after, there might be a, a final screw on there. And I don't remember. Watch those videos. They'll, they'll tell you. But you just pull this straight up. And then you'll see like a little circle thing and it'll kind of look like that. It'll be like gold underneath it. And then, um, yeah, you can twist it open as you'll see in the other videos. But what they did differently, what I did differently than they did, I went on PriusChat.com and this is for the throttle body cleaner. The, this bottle says just to like spray it down psh, everywhere, but it didn't feel right. And just like there's some liquid down there. I guess like the engine oil just felt like not a good idea. And so <laughs> other videos say like use a toothbrush and stuff like that to get all the black crap off of your, your throttle body thing to make sure it like closes completely. And that kind of worked. But what I found was the best was I used the blue paper towels, um, you know, don't use the regular ones because you, you don't want anything getting in there. Or just some people said on Prius chat, like rip up an old shirt, tape it to a stick, and just really go to town. Chick, 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 chick. Spray this stuff onto the shirt so it gets nice and wet. And then, uh, then, da, 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 da. And, and I found that better. They said don't spray it down directly in there. That's what one of the guys did in the video. I don't know which way is better, but I found it a lot more clean. I first sprayed it, didn't do, and then like you know, wait a little bit, test it out. It's still super dirty. It didn't really do anything. So I did some elbow grease with the shirt. I used the blue paper towels, but I was really careful not to like drop crap in there. And yeah, that's that's how you do it, basically. And then you just let the stuff dry, put everything back together. The one thing I finally wanted to add, when I put this thing on, it, like, there's a notch right there. And see how, like, the, the rubber goes boop, boop, boop around it? You gotta line up that notch, and then there's a little notch on the air filter thingy here. Uh, I shouldn't touch that. Anyway, you uh, line that up, and then it clicks in. And so that's what I did, and then you just tighten it up. Good to go. Click that back in. Gently click. Okay, come back. Gently click this in. 
to the thing after you screw it in. Boom, and um, yeah, you're good to go. But yeah, you can get this stuff off Amazon. That's where I got it. I'll have a link in the description below, and that's pretty cool. It took about 30 minutes. It uh, improved the gas mileage at least 10%. The car just felt like vroom, cleaner and better. It's, it's, it's a good thing, and this will probably cost like 200 bucks or 100, at least $100 on uh, from a dealership or a certified technician mechanic. And this stuff's like $10, $11, $12, this is $12, stuff like that. It'll last forever, and you're good to go. Okay, so I hope you like that video. Uh, again, Michael here, and let me know if you have any questions below. I'll try and reply, and have a great day.